This is why Scarlet and Violet era is better than you guys think. So I just made a video dunking on a few sets from Scarlet and Violet, but I want to tell you guys, you know, why I think that Scarlet and Violet so far has been good. We're starting with Paldea Evolved. We're going to start with the Magikarp. I mean, this is coming from a collecting standpoint and uh, investing, flipping more aside, not um, like playing the TCG, but just artwork. Um, obviously, the Magikarp. I mean, let's just go down this, the, the line here. What I think Paldea did good is, especially from you know an older um, Pokemon fan, is they're including some of the early generations. So you have Magikarp, Great Raichu. I really like this Tyranitar. Um, I think this should probably be a higher dollar card. But um, you got the Ionos, which are cool. I actually like the artwork on this one. I like the little Pikachu up there. And then there's an Eevee. Um, Anyways, but what they did well is, so we have some older Pokemon, but then they blend it with the newer, the uh, the new Gen 9. So, like, um, if you guys haven't seen the new Pokemon um, show, um, Horizons, you maybe check it out. I mean, it's not probably as good as some of the as the older stuff, but, um, you know, I, I think it gives you appreciation and shows, like, some of these kids that are watching this for their first time. Like, this Sprigatito card. Sprigatito is, this card is going to go up just from that show alone, I think, over time. Um, but what they do well is, so you have like these artworks with the, like the Foycoco all the way to the Skeledurge and same thing with the Sprigatito to the, the Mascarada. They, they kind of tell a little story in the artwork and they're really well done. Um, like Tinkaton's okay looking like, you know, not every card in every set is a banger, but like, I do think that this set in particular is good. Um, really good actually. And let's just jump onto page two here real quick. And... So, I mean, that's just, that's the top cards. I think this, oh man, see, I like this Heracross. But once again, I'm a sucker for the earlier gen Pokemon. But, like, we're on page two, and, like, even the artwork on these, like, these are okay. Like, the artwork's good, but Pokemon I don't personally care about. Um, I don't really care about Miss Magus, but I do like this artwork a lot. Um, we got the Meryl, like, the floating Meryl. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, I really actually like the Sudowoodo card, where he's just, like, chilling there. Um, you got the the Quaquaval, um card. How he um, he's got like little sass with himself um, in the like I I like I like seeing the you know the Crocolore here in the shop. It's it's just well done. I think. I mean, you got good artworks. Um, even this one, like you know, it's funny. The Paldean Tauros, like I think these are all pretty good. And like we're going all the way into page three here. And, like, I'm appreciating these. Like, the Rookity's good. Um, I mean, like, the Pyroar. I don't really care for Sandy Gast. Um, see, like, this Quaxley to the Quaxwell. You can see sort of the evolution line, the storyline there. Um, you know, and then it kind of falls off. But we got three pages in of good cards from Paldea. And that Magikarp obviously carries. So, super strong set. Then, obviously, you have the Banger. I mean... I don't really need to go into this, but we're just going to admire some of these arts. Um, this Charizard being the most expensive, I actually think isn't the best artwork. Um, you know, I think they could have done this card better. Absolutely love this Blastoise and absolutely love this Venusaur. Absolutely love them. Um, like this Zapdos. Oh, man. And same thing. They kind of carried how they, they tell a story when you put them all together. Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. Like, chef's kiss to you. Like well done this charizard's okay i like the squirtle um like the alakazam this bulbasaur is adorable um i think erica looks great um dragonair i think that's that's a great card slept on a little bit um yeah i mean pikachu like obviously this has all the pokemon i want in it but the artwork is good as well and then you get into page two and we still have like the psyduck is funny um, I like the Nido King, the Caterpie I like actually a lot too. Tangela's good. Mr. Mime's okay. Nobody likes Mr. Mime. Um, you know, Ammonite. Like, so I don't know if this set carries all the way into page three. Like, let's see. No. So we, we've lost it. Um, but this set is super well loved, and obviously we know that the set's going to do well long term from all perspectives. But and there's going to be an English reprint coming eventually. Um, okay, then Paldean Fates. Paldean Fates is a great, it's another specialty set, so no booster boxes, just like 
um, 151. But, like, guys, check this out. Like, this Charizard, regardless of how you feel about, like, the crown, the terror type stuff that they're doing, this Charizard's dope. Like, it might not be your favorite Charizard of all time, but it's sick. Um, I don't think you can deny that. Um, this, so this is going to have strength. Then you have Mew. Like, these top two cards, two huge Pokemon. Then you got the Gardevoir. Another great artwork, like, of, of a popular Pokemon. Um, and then you got the baby shinies, like all the shinies, like Pikachu, Charmander, Charmeleon, like all of these. Snorlax, like, come on, are you guys kidding me? Um, looks like these gold cards are okay. Uh, Mimikyu, Entei, you got, like, just more, it just seems like overall, you know, and it's my, it's my Gen 1 to, like, 3 biasy that's coming out, but, like, all of these abra like i like all of these shinies so you can get so many hits from this set so it's like super fun to open just like 151 another great set um like here's an example though a newer pokemon lechonk adorable artwork i don't really super love lechonk but i can appreciate that like these artworks um and these are you know these cards aren't worthless they're a few bucks each and there's so many of them like i mean look at all of these shinies and these are all see so these are all some a lot of the newer pokemon with some older in there as well um but yeah that right there shows in my opinion when you're getting three pages deep it's a good set then this might be controversial to some of you guys but i really like i think scarlet and violet is going to it's going to age a lot better than people think the miriam card is okay like i think it's good um but this gardevoir the story of this gardevoir that it tells i think is really adorable you can see right here we got the Ralts with the family to the Curlia to the Gardevoir. I really like when they tell a uh, story all together. Um, you know, and then they, they were pushing the legendaries, Maridon and, and Caridon. I think that um, I think that these artworks are great as well. But then, so, super, like, new gen heavy, for the most part, with the exception of, like, Gardevoir. But when you get down in here, then we do have some pretty good cards. Like, I think this Slowpoke card is kind of funny. And this Drowsy, both of these, like, you got some Gen 1s in here, you got the Riolu, um, you know, it's, it's not, I don't think it's as bad of a set as people think, that's all I'm saying. Base, Scarlet and Violet base is not the best of Scarlet and Violet, by any means, but artwork on this Great Tusk is amazing, like, Arcanine, I don't think it's gonna hold super strong into page 2, but let's take a look. Um, okay, I like this King Gambit a lot, I pulled this card, um, see, there's a few in here, like, this toad school i like i like the artwork on i like the grievard with the uh the gengar and the ghastly uh like uh rugs there um still like still the artwork's okay on some of these pokemon like even if they're not as popular this gyarados i actually really like um it's a shame that's only a two dollar card um yeah but i like that i like this card um i have this card um so yeah and then we it's heavier on the newer set but you guys gotta keep in mind that like i said that these kids are growing up with this new horizons show and a lot of these new pokemon are are gonna be pretty prevalent um so it might not be um the nostalgic set for us if we're if you're a little older but it will be for the upcoming generation then let's talk about obsidian real quick a lot of people don't like obsidian um which you know, obviously I put it towards the end. It's not the most popular of the Scarlet and Violet to be released, but I do think that this Charizard artwork is good. I do think that people love pulling Charizards. So long-term for me, like, especially like a few years down the road, I would love to rip some Obsidian. Um, and then like cool Pidgeot here. This Charizard's cool. Um, this Cleffa, this Cleffa artwork is really nice. And same so like leaning into the older pokemon this nine tails absolutely stunning absolutely stunning um great card like six bucks like so some of these are undervalued but then like even this gloom here 260 um pidgeotto kind of same style artwork as the other one um and sizor you know evolution of you know he's a gen 2 pokemon but houndor a dollar 74 like this is a great card um we'll see like what kind of strength it has on page two um see 
it kind of falls off on page two a little bit. Um, you know, trainer, the larvitar is okay, but a dollar thirty-seven. I don't know. Like that's this card should be more than that. I think. Um, once again, not the most loved, but from an earlier gen, and it, like this Lechonk is super adorable. So not not the worst set. Um, I obviously the strength is in the Charizards, but so when you consider these, like these ones being the same, it's kind of unfortunate that they're literally the same. But um, Charizard chases with a few good cards in there. I think like this set will be like kind of like mid tier um, by the time it's all said and done. Like probably probably mid tier ish um, on the Scarlet and Violet era, depending on what happens on the back half. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show some appreciation for like just for some of these these sets and these cards. Like they're not they're not all trash. Um, even though in my last video I just called the Fumum trash, but um, they're they're great sets, and um, I'm holding on to some of these. I got boxes of all of these sets, so um, the good news is is that they're really affordable. They're really easy to get into right now, so you can rip them, you can sit on them. Um, the the barrier to entry is really low, so that's what I like about it now, and I do think that they'll appreciate well um, over time. So we just got to give it some time. I I don't think Sword and Shield early on was really loved either so um probably more so than this but you know it it just takes a little bit of time so um that's gonna do it for this one guys and remember it was never a phase